Hi everyone, as a photographer, one of my favorite things to do is print images. And if you're like me, at times, Photoshop or printing from Photoshop can seem a little cumbersome. You know, we have our image up and we go file and we go down to print or command P if you're on a Mac, and it brings up the Photoshop print settings. We can set our printer, Photoshop manages color, we set our ICC profile. There's a few other settings like rendering intent, and now the rendering intent, we have to figure out whether we want relative or we can go up to perceptual. And then we also have to make sure we click on the print setting dialog. Now, depending on your operating system, this could look a little different. And in fact, if you recently updated your operating system, it'll definitely look differently. And of course, we have our printing uh, settings. And we need to go down to the layout, paper handling. And the big one here is printer options. And there's quite a few settings that are... I don't want to say buried, but you'd have to dig for them just a little bit. So the question is, is there an easier way? And there is. I am working on an Epson printer and Epson has a application called Epson Print Layout. It's a free application. I've preloaded it. So I'm going to go up to File, Automate, and then Epson Print Layout. And it's just loading on my desktop right now. And you can see there's a little bit of progress. And then you'll see the application launch. And it just take a second here. Oh, let me move that window open so we can get it right there. Perfect. And I'll shrink it down just a little bit also. All right. And in with this window, there's some really great information. Now, on the printer settings on the right-hand side, you can see I have my printer. Um, that's the only one I have hooked up right now. And the media type, I mean, let's go with Legacy Platine. It's one of my favorite papers, but here's a whole bunch of different papers that are loaded. And under paper size, right now I have 17 by 22. So with that, I have my image resolution. I mean, sometimes you have to figure out, well, is it a good resolution for that big of a print? Well, here's something really nice. In the lower left-hand corner, it tells me my paper size, the resolution, the print size, but it also has the quality based on it. And it's saying, hey, it's at 419 pixels per inch, the best quality, the highest you'll have. But it's really nice to know that if I go to a paper size, is it gonna print at the best, good, low, or poor quality? For this one, I think I'm just gonna drop this to, you know, a letter size. And got my sheet paper. And here's where I could choose. So I want high quality, max quality, max quality with carbon black. Um, I think I'm just gonna go max quality. And here I can decide, do I want black enhanced overcoat or not? And I can also close that down. Type is standard, but if I was doing a panorama or a gallery wrap, those are in there. Orientation is landscape. I have it centered right now. And here's something that's really nice. I can choose, do I wanna set the margins? Cause sometimes you can say, hey, you know, I wanna have left and right, just a one inch margin so I can type one in there and all of a sudden now I have a one inch margin or you can decide you know instead of margins I want to have the actual image size so I'm going to click image size and maybe I do a width of 10 on this one and you'll notice the height also changed because it locks the ratio okay, right here it says lock image aspect ratio and I'm going to scroll down a little bit more and color settings, use ICC profile. And here's something that's really nice. It's set right now to auto select. And at the top, we said my Epson 900 printer and legacy platine paper. So it knows the printer, it knows the paper. So it auto select the, that correct ICC profile. Now let's say you have a custom profile. Well, you can override it and you can go pick any profile you like, but it's really nice that it auto selects. So, you know, usually don't get the wrong profile. We've all done that before. Under rendering intent, instead of having to know all the different algorithms to what is relative, what is perceptual, which one looks better, this window is color managed. So under re rendering intent, I can simply click and go, okay, here's perceptual. And we notice the image change a little bit. So if you look real closely at this image, because it's color managed, I'll change it from perceptual to relative color metric, which are the two photographers use and you can visually see it change. So you don't need to know all the algorithms and how it handles out of gamut colors for a color space or a profile based on the rendering intent. You can see it happen in front of you. And then the last step you have to do is simply hit print. So this has taken 
all those print dialog windows and print setting windows and put them all in one place and you're just going to go from top to bottom very simple so hope you enjoy printing and you enjoy this video